Now, this is a great one. Something I've never actually seen in practice, or at least not that I've recognized. Who wants this? Number eight. Oh, oh now you're like, oh, the thing I thought it was can't be. I don't know about that. Um, it looks like very sick tissue. Like I yeah. Even, I think the epidermis came off. Yeah, totally detached. Yeah. You can see the festooning, right? The little papillary right. dermis is there, but the epidermis is gone. And then the tissue here looks pretty, I don't know if it's like devitalized, but then there's these vascular structures uh -huh. throughout, and then there's a bluish haze. So you do know what it things. is. Good. So what is so, it? So there's not, one thing to look for is inflammation, and there's really not too much. And with that blue haze and lack of inflammation, and the blue haze being around vascular structures, you can think of like thymus. Yeah, ecthyma gangrenosum particularly. There's other form of ecthyma, um, which I think is staph or strep, if I recall, kind of punched out necrotic eschars um, in the skin. Um, and this, uh, my understanding is that this is more common in like uh, HIV or immunodeficiency setting. But again, I've never actually seen it in real life, just in, in study sets and uh, educational material. Excuse me. The uh, the key is that the, the, the skin begins to get to die, right? So this is maybe not quite dead yet, like to paraphrase Monty Python here, but but this is not happy tissue, right? This is on its way out. The epidermis has died enough that it detached and broke free and sloughed away. The dermis looks like it is on death's doorstep, and the vessels are surrounded by that thick blue coat of Pseudomonas aeruginosa bacteria. You can't see really the individual distinct bacteria here. I'm not even sure if you can on a gram stain. Again, I've never actually seen an example of that. But my my recollection is that pseudomonas organisms are quite small. And so, you know, gram positive cocci are hard enough to see. And I would imagine that pseudomonas individual organisms would be even harder. Um, here's the tissue on the other side. Again, look at that blue haze. Very, <clears throat> very good example of what this is supposed to look like. Let me show you one other case that's really nice from Path Presenter. Um, and this is uh, courtesy of uh, Dr. Raj Singh. <clears throat> I believe he's the one who submitted this case. And so again, <clears throat> dead and dying tissue. The epidermis is sloughing away. Tons of hemorrhage in this case here. Look in at the vessels. Exactly like what we're seeing in our case, right? Blue haze. So the, uh, the, that's the finding that you really want to look through for is that bluish hazy material around the vessels with the necrosis and of course the proper clinical setting, ecthyma gangrenosum from Pseudomonas aeruginosa. Good work.